I agree with both of your kind recommendations. I think they're great. Um, in a, a medical perspective, we as Catholics are in the minority. If you are defining Catholics as practicing according to the magisterium of the church, I know a lot of Catholics that are my friends and, and their doctors, but most of them are fallen away Catholics. And I never give up hope on them. I am constantly bringing up the faith people at our hospital just know to agree to disagree with us. I practice at Fair Oaks and we've been there since the beginning of the uh, hospital. The hospital began in 1988 and we've been there since 94. So they expect these things of us and they admire us for, for our courage. They'll even tell us that, but then they'll turn around and say, but I can never do that. It's in to declare yourself as a Catholic physician is very difficult because it's not a private um, faith anymore. When you bring it to the workplace, all of a sudden it's public. And that is really, I think, at the heart of the matter of this Obamacare is that uh, this is all founded on privacy. If you think back, what was the deciding principle in Roe v. Wade? It was decided on privacy. It was not on the right to life. It was not on any other things. It was decided in terms of the right of a woman to have her privacy. And so I see that in this bill as being huge, that it's okay for an individual to have a private faith, mm -hmm. but when you bring that faith to the workplace, that's a problem. And so with our coworkers, with patients, with um, our friends, the Catholic Medical Association is a wonderful form of networking and support for us physicians. We have a local guild in the Northern Virginia area, the um, American Association of Pro-Life OBGYNs just had their national meeting this weekend in Washington. In fact, I was just a couple blocks away for that. So, you know, organizations such as that, and then of course, you know, write to your senator and your Congress and be, make yourself be heard, but always, as you said, in a kind way, mm -hmm. because we have the truth, but we have to present it as Christ would in a loving, um, growing way. Mm -hmm.